For God's sakes, David, she's my wife. I am very well acquainted with just who Susan is. I've known her longer than you have. That was almost 50 years ago. No. You should have graduated, gotten your MD, and taken Susan off to Boston or New York or, or some sophisticated city to live your life and practice medicine. But you brought her back here. This is my home. This is where I live, third generation. So it is like you just took her from me all over again every time I see you two together. That's what this is about? You dated Susan in 10th grade, and what? You never had sex in high school, and so, so now you're obsessed with my wife. I am not going back to high school with you, David. You called me because you needed to talk to me before the, the award tonight. Urgent, you said. So I rushed over here from the office, leaving patients, thinking maybe you wanted to make an announcement about another major gift. Instead, you tell me you're sleeping with my wife. Well, contributions to the athletic programs is all I could do. I wasn't going to get inducted for being captain of the track team. But not like you. You come here as a sophomore and become the star receiver of the football team. You set the scoring record in basketball, pitch the baseball team to state. The first in our class to be inducted into the high school hall of fame, Lynn Butch Matthews. What kind of a name is that for a grown professional man anyway? Butch. Did you actually come up with that the first time you got in a fight for having that girl's name? Lynn, and that had a sap your self-confidence as a child. Uh, first you tell me you're sleeping with my wife. Then you want to psychoanalyze me about my being named Lynn? You were supposed to be my best friend. David, are you all right? I don't feel too well. I, I think it could be in my heart. Uh, uh. Fast. Strong. No arrhythmia. Now, you just need to calm down. What am I saying? I need to calm down. How was she, David? Was she good in the sack? Does she tell you that she loves you? Does she, does she do that thing she and I made up in Hawaii? Ah! with my own stethoscope. And what? What was the plan? To kill me and have her all to yourself? No plan. Just seize the opportunity. And Susan, she won't do that Hawaiian thing with me. Jeez, David. I didn't come up with Butch for nothing. I could have killed you. I should have killed you. Sorry. I lost my head. Hey. Hey, remember Coach? We used to call him Toad because of how he looked when he demonstrated the, the squat thrust. Well, he was the one who inducted you into the Hall of Fame that night. He was on an oxygen tank and, and he could only get out two or three words at a time. He died that night. But he ended your introduction with, if the shoe fits, wear it. If the shoe doesn't fit, activate the foot to fit the shoe. What the hell did that mean? <laughs> Some inspirational nonsense, I suppose. If you're not who people think you are, you could be with a little effort.
I was your friend, don't you? You used to sweat so much playing basketball you couldn't even get your own shirt off. I had to pull it off every day. And afterwards, we'd go to the dance and pick up a couple of girls. We, we didn't even know which one we would be with till they got in the car. We'd make out with whoever sat next to us. Homecoming, junior year. I was still with Susan then, and you were kissing her over my shoulder while we danced. And even after you took her from me, that, that first summer back from college, the, the three of us sat and talked together for hours. And as a show of 60s solidarity, we all shared the same stick of gum, chewing it one after the other as we passed the joint. Wake up, David. Look around. You're a successful millionaire with a brilliant career. Enough to give hundreds of thousands to the athletic programs. Enough to get this honorary induction tonight. Well, it seems to be attractive to Susan. No, wait. Wait, wait. What? What if, uh... What if we leave things just the way they are? But well, Susan is obviously already agreeable. <laughs> you are certifiable. No, she's used to filling in the time around your call schedule. What? I'm on call Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And so what? You get her those nights and I get her Tuesdays, Thursdays, and weekends? Yeah, that would work. Well, you have the empty nest and I've got no one at home. You think that because we shared a, a, a stick of gum in college, that I'm prepared to share my wife. You already are. You just didn't know it. And now, you don't have to tell Susan that you know. No. I don't know you. You're not the man I thought was my friend. I was there for you through all of your relationship issues, all those times all those women, and some of them were married too. And, and I would ask you, how can you do this? And you would look me in the eye and say, because I can. You know, I used to think you were, I felt sorry for you because I thought you were confused and just out of touch and lost. You were just an arrogant bastard. <laughs> I'm not feeling too well again. Could you listen with that? Uh, uh, no. Fool me once, shame yeah. on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. No, I'm not falling for that one again. You'll recall that didn't work out so well for you the first time. And by the way, you're still an arrogant bastard. <laughs> no, old buddy. I'm going to present you with that award tonight. And straighten all this out with Susan. And then I want you out of our lives. You understand? Do you understand? Hi, hon. No, just taking a break from work and was thinking about you. I, I want to ask you out on a date tomorrow. We'll go someplace nice, just the two of us. Yes, it is Wednesday. I've arranged coverage for my calls. No, I, I know it's short notice. Yes, I know you make plans for when I'm on call, but this is a special request. You see, I think it's time this is going to sound a little corny, 
But I think it's time that we listened to the heartbeat of our relationship. I want our marriage to be healthy. Yes, like that. Yes. I'll bring it home from the office and we can play doctor like we did in Maui. No, it has to be tomorrow. I know it's Wednesday. I think you'll find you're available. No, I'll be home for dinner tonight. That thing for David was canceled. 